Okay, welcome back. Quake 4, level 19, deathlessly. We are, and uh, normal corporal difficulty. Wrapping up Operation Last Hope. And now we're basically moving into the third act of the game. Still a long way to go. Still a lot of fun to be had. So we'll go ahead and wrap up Operation Last Hope. And what did I want to discuss for this vid? Um, I did have kind of a weird topic I wanted to extrapolate upon. Um, and it was based off a discussion I was having with my kids. You know, my kids, they're teenagers, and, and they were talking about... King, I want to remind you the existence of all humanity rests on your shoulders, but I wouldn't want you to feel any pressure. So, all I will say is, don't get yourself killed, my friend. Good luck, sir. Automated navigation will take you right to the data storage terminal. Welcome, Corporal Matthew Kane. Navigation online. Engine prep cycle complete. Sir, the report to him at deck two. Straw boarding parties have been rewarded. Prepare for launch. Five, four, three, two, one. Yes. Let's go. But yeah, uh, my kids, you know, they're teenagers. They you know, think they're hilarious when they talk about memes, not knowing that memes have been around since before they were born. You know, funny pictures with captions on the internet. That's, you know, nothing new. And they brought up the... the Because, you know, whenever we watch videos on YouTube or whatever... Inevitably, you see that stupid Burger King ad that has that stupid song that sounds like Wesley Willis wrote it and performed it. And it brought a... And the kids were... Oh, yeah, it was funny the first time when it was, you know, a meme, but now it's just, you know, going overboard. And I was like, now, wait a second. When was the Burger King song a meme? You know, it can't be. And, you know, there's this... I feel like there's a thing as real memes or fake memes, as I like to call it, organic or inorganic. Organic memes and inorganic memes. First wave is launched. All pods are in the green. Yeah, my buddy's gonna get shot down. Yep. Bye, bye, dude. Fun ride. is the blaster. Well, at least that has a flashlight on the end. Oh, and 
That sucks, my buddy didn't make it. And what's even worse, I think the weapon he dropped went into the fire. Help me! Repair droid to fire hazard in section one. We just located the pod containing Captain Marin's body. I think I'm gonna be sick. At least the blaster has unlimited ammo. My pod landed on a lower floor. It's pitch black in here. Somebody tell me where I am. Oh, I do have my weapons. I'm an idiot. HQ, this is Cobra Squad. We have assembled and are advancing. Anyway, um... Yeah, so the point I was trying to make about organic versus inorganic memes is... If it's meant to promote something obviously meant to promote something that is corporate, then it's an inorganic meme. It's not real. It is generated by... Uh, maybe an AI, or, you know, people sitting in a boardroom. Like, take, for example, you know, the Burger King song. Oh, yeah, it's, it's stupid, and it's, you know, something that the kids will... joke about you know that's an obvious example another example is um, baby Yoda which was meant to um, you know promote Disney you know one of the biggest companies on the planet I want that armor Let's play with the Hyper Blaster for a bit. We got plenty of ammo. Oh, I don't think we can make that, can we? Oh, were we supposed to go that way? Or, uh, Wednesday Adams, you know, doing that stupid viral dance. Yeah, that's not... Oh, it went viral. It Did it really go viral, or was it just pushed to go viral by algorithm and corporate <laughs> like sometimes I feel like when things go quote unquote viral that it's they didn't really go viral they were pushed to go viral and something as dumb as the <coughs> Wednesday Adams dance or, you know, the Baby Yoda memes, you know, those just strike me as being so transparently, obviously, corporate-generated garbage. There's no way that they went viral organically, naturally. Hangar floor damage reaching critical levels.
Lieutenant Morris. Corporal Kane just showed up. Don't let the strong make us fool you. He's a damn fine Marine. Got it. I'll let back out. Kane, good to meet you. Those torso things are supplying bioelectric power to this facility, but they've been shut off. Take the elevator down below and reactivate them so we can open the door to that hangar and let our guys land. Got it? Move out. Okay, can't go that way yet. Supposed to go down there? Fire's not good for you, bro. So yeah, I just don't... Uh, whenever you hear about something... Going viral... It's okay to take it with a grain of salt. Oh, okay. So basically we're looping around. Got it. Something should go viral or be... And by the way, just for the record, I'm not an expert in the medics. Reaching critical levels. You know, the frame rate is so rough on <laughs> Quake 4 on the Xbox 360, it just cripples the nail gun. Like that, the nail gun basically operates like the, um, for the most part, like the chain gun or minigun from um, Do the Doom 3 games, Doom 3, Lost Mission, Resurrection of Evil. And... It would just be so much better if the action was smoother when you used it, but instead it just feels... Corporal Kane, our orders are to accompany you down to distribution. You lead, Willful? Well, you saw it for yourself. That was not <laughs> pleasant. We'll go down there in a sec, boys. Let me just uh, scrounge the area. See if we can find any 
a completely dead end. Oh, and that's it for this level. That was easy. Uh, before we hit the exit, let's just uh, maybe get a health pack. I'm sure we walked past one. Is this bridge still out of commission? Yes, it is. All right. All right, so we'll go ahead and stop here. Let's see, is this guy gonna? This won't take long. Yep, give us a armor back. All right, so we'll go ahead, and stop like here, save here, and next time we play, we'll be on to level 20.